Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Psyche Patshala. Go to our channel home page and click on the subscribe button. And to get notified for our future videos, click on the bell icon and choose the all option. To answer daily quiz on psychology, search for Psyche Patshala on Facebook and like our page. So let's start this video. In this video, we will be discussing about the hind brain. Hind brain consists of three parts, namely cerebellum, pons, and medulla oblongata. As you can see in the picture, the area colored in blue is the portion called hind brain. Among these, cerebellum and pons are the part of metencephalon and medulla oblongata is a part of myelencephalon. Proportionately, cerebellum is the largest part of the hind brain and lies behind the pons and medulla oblongata. It is also called the little brain. It represents about one eighth of the weight of the entire brain. On an average, the cerebellum weighs 150 gram. It is connected with the brain with three thick bonds of nerve fibers called cerebral peduncle. Generally, the cerebellum is joined by a narrow medium stripe called the vermis. Functionally, it regulates and coordinates contraction of skeletal muscles. It modulates and moderates voluntary movements initiated in cerebrum. Also, it maintains equilibrium and controls our bodily postures. Structurally, the pons is situated just above the medulla and functions as a bridge made up of nerve fibers that connect the two hemispheres of cerebellum and also cerebrum. It also connects the other parts of the brain with cerebellum and cerebrum. Functionally, the pons maintains the normal rhythm of respiration, controls our sleep and waking state, it is also the relay station or relay center for cortical fibers. The medulla oblongata is also known as myelencephalon. Structurally, it is conically extended from the foramen magnum to the caudal border of the pons. It is approximately 28 mm in length. Its transverse diameter of the foramen magnum is 9 to 12 mm and near the pons it is about 24 mm. Functionally, it controls our respiration. It acts as a coordinating center for afferent nerve impulse. It is essential for motor functioning. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Click on the circle to subscribe to our channel. Click on the boxes to watch other videos on our channel. Like this video and share it with your friends.